the discovery of Apollo 15 on the moon and the touch of God that was felt by astronaut James Irwin. From July 26 to August 7, 1971, the U.S. National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, carried out the ninth manned mission to the moon under the name of Apollo 15. And it was this mission that was to change the life of astronaut James Irwin forever. According to Amazon Prime documentary series Mysteries, astronaut James Irwin claimed that when he set foot on the moon, he felt, quote, the touch of God, end quote. This happened, as he later confessed to a friend, when he discovered the rock of Genesis. And this is what it looks like. As we can all understand, that must have been a very moving and spiritual experience for him, obviously. Now, Irwin was the eighth man to walk on the moon. He was reborn as a Christian after completing the Apollo mission, and he's credited with the discovery of the most important to date find in space, the rock of Genesis. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. So what is this rock of Genesis, quote unquote? The chemical analysis of this rock showed that it was an an anorthosite, consisting mainly of an ore of the plagioclase type, 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 which is in geology and is known as anorthitis. The rock, according to scientists, was created in the early stages of the solar system and is at least 4 billion years old. Astronaut Irwin confessed to his friend, Professor Farouk Elbaz, that he discovered the rock. He said, thanks to a sign from God. In 2009, Professor Farouk Elbaz spoke of this finding. He said, my friend Jim, that is James Irwin, the astronaut, told me that while walking on the moon, he noticed a piece of rock that was very white. He approached it and then realized that it was an important finding. Geologists later called it the rock of Genesis, and it was very important. And uh, Professor Elbaz says, but Jim said to me, I swear to God, I felt someone. God touched me on the shoulder and told me, look there. It was God who made him locate the rock and bring it back to Earth. This is what Professor Elbaz explains. Astronaut James Irwin, although born into a Christian family, had stopped believing in God at the age of 10. However, from his return from the Apollo mission onwards, he became very religious and faithful. From 1973, he himself embarked on various expeditions to Mount Ararat in Turkey in an effort to find the remains of Noah's Ark. In 1982, he was seriously injured during his descent from that mountain. Nine years later, on August 8, 1991, he died of a heart attack. But this was his explanation. He believed God touched him, told him to look for that rock, and that's when he found that rock. This is uh, translated from a Greek article for you from... Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.